Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. I am Linda. If you're new, if you've been by before, thank you so much for coming back. So today, guys, I am doing a quick get ready with me. And I also wanted to share a few products that I use on my skin. In a few of my other videos, I stated that I do have eczema. And right now I'm having a really bad flare up. I believe it has a lot to do with the temperature in St. Thomas. Because if you have eczema, you know that the change in temperature, the change in weather, the change in products all has a lot to do with how your skin reacts. So ever since I've been back from St. Thomas, my skin has been out of whack. So right now, I am doing everything that I need to do to get my skin back together again, have my skin bounce back. So I figured, let me just do a quick ready with me, share these products, you know, for anyone who has eczema that may not know of these products. Because us who have eczema, there's very, like, there's not very little that we can use, but we have to be really careful in the products that we use. So what I have been doing over the past years, I've been trying to find the best products for my skin and not just use anything. Like um, for the longest time, I've been trying to find a good face oil. Like for me, I don't know for anybody else, but for me, if it doesn't go well with my skin, it's going to react really bad. And I want to avoid that. So I only use products that goes very, very well with my skin. And for the longest time, I've been saying, like, I want my, my face to, you know, look nice and moisturized. And I want to be able to use a face oil that's going to react very well with my skin. And because I've had, like, bad reactions before from different products... Now I'm very hesitant in what I use. So I saw the, I saw an ad on Instagram for Good Molecules. And I've seen it one more than once. But I've always been like, mm, I don't know if I want to try it because I don't know how it's going to react on my skin. I did see this other lady that I follow um, share it that she's been using it and it goes well with her skin. Although she doesn't have eczema. But I was like, you know what, let me give it a try just to see how it will react with my skin. So that's why I ended up getting the smaller bottle. It's really small. Um, and this bottle was $10. I've had this bottle for about, I would say about two months now. And you don't have to use a lot of it because it a little bit goes a long way. And... Um, what I did when I when I received the product, I didn't apply it to my whole face right away, right? So I just washed my face, my face is nice and clean. So what I usually do after I'm done washing my face, well, back to how I applied it when I first got it. So when I first got the product, I didn't apply it to my whole face. I just took a small dab of the product and I put it on my cheek. And I did that for like three days just to see, you know, if there would be a reaction. And so it's not all over my face. It can just be in that little section of my face. And after using it like that for three days, I realized that it went well. It didn't do anything to my face. And then the fourth day is when I applied it to my whole skin, to my whole face. So now what I do after I wash my face, I just apply... a few pumps to my face and this product I feel like goes very very well with my skin because it leaves my skin very moisturized very hydrated looking um it doesn't have like although it's a face oil it doesn't leave my face so oily, which is something that I really like because before I used to be so ugh, with products that just left my face looking like I was walking around with 
cooking oil all over my face. I didn't like that. Which is, it's good for your skin. For someone who has eczema, it's good for your skin to be overly hydrated, overly moisturized. But me, I didn't like it. So I would try to find products that would do the job, but not have me looking like I just got done frying chicken. <laughs> so this face oil really did it for me. It leaves my skin looking beautiful. It leaves my skin looking nice and moisturized. It doesn't have a burning sensation. For those who have eczema, you know, like if you use a product that doesn't go well with your skin, it's going to have that burning sensation that is so uncomfortable. I don't like it. Um, it will, you know, have a harsh reaction on your skin. It, um, it eventually, if it doesn't go well with your skin, it eventually makes like, it gives it like that dry feeling, which is, you know, you really don't want because your skin is supposed to be hydrated and moisturized at the, like at all times. So this face oil, I feel like really, really does the job for me. It doesn't, you know, when I apply it, it doesn't have a burning sensation. It doesn't, you know, like it doesn't have a reaction at all, which I really, really love. It's like you just apply it and it's just on your skin and it's doing what it needs to do. So I would highly recommend Good Molecules the hydrating facial oil. I would highly recommend this. Once this bottle is done, I'm getting the bigger bottle because I really love this face oil. And I feel like this face oil did everything, like it, it gave me everything that I was looking for in a face oil. So this, I would highly, highly recommend. For my soaps, I only do the Dove Sensitive Skin. I know that they have different ones, like they have the original, believe it or not, the original reacts to my skin. The original will cause flare-ups. I've had flare-ups off of the original bar, um, irritation, like, but the sensitive skin one really does it for me. I either do the Dove sensitive skin or I will do um, the Sema soap from this lady that I follow on Instagram and I will leave her information in the description box. That soap works wonders, like literally. I can have a flare up right now and once I take a shower with that soap, right after I see a difference. So I usually juggle those two, either the Sensitive Dove or that um, Seamoss soap. So if I don't have the Seamoss, then I'll just go to my Dove. But those two always really, really do it for me. And then for those who wear makeup, you know, like a lot of times we feel like we're limited because we have, we have, you know, eczema, we're limited to certain things. And really in reality, it's, we're not limited to anything. It's just about finding products that's really going to help your skin. And while you're able to do all the things that you want to do, like wear makeup and, you know, do like wear fragrances because we know fragrances, a lot of different fragrances react to your skin. But if you're taking care of your skin while wearing these things, it doesn't react as bad or it doesn't react at, at all. It just all depends on what you're using and how you're using it. So back to those who love to wear makeup. I found this primer, the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. This works. This I love this primer. Love it. I've tried different primers before and I've had some like when I apply, apply it, it burns my skin. It leaves my skin leave it feeling so dry. Like, and then that affects how my makeup look. But this primer has been amazing. It literally, like, it's very light, which I love. Like, you see, after applying the oil, you can see that my face, you know, is hydrated, but it doesn't look all greasy, which I love. This primer does the same thing. 
I really love it. It's light. It's not a, it doesn't leave a heavy feeling on your face and it really leaves your skin moisturized and it oh, it stays on for the whole day. Like there's times where I'm not wearing makeup and I just wash my face and I apply the the primer and it really does the job. Like it really leaves my my face really really moisturized. So I would highly recommend the Elf face primer if you you know you wear makeup if even even if it's even if you wear it like once a week or twice a week or if you wear it five days a week i would really recommend this face primer because it does the job um so those are pretty much what i use on my face I'll try to do a video on other products that I use as far as deodorant or body oils or um, things in that nature. But I, as I was getting ready, I was like, you know what, let me just jump on and make this video really quick while I'm cleaning my face, washing my face, just to show different products that you're able to use if you have eczema that does not affect your skin and leaves your skin feeling nice and beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Woo!